Now, Mike, you guys made the transaction before the game with Max Legacy. Is there a status you can provide on Casey to Smith? Uh, yeah, Casey had uh, Casey was sick. It's a non-COVID related illness. Taylor Haas. Hey, Mike, just what have you seen from Mike Matheson since he's come back from his injury? Do you think that time off uh, helped him get comfortable with the system more? Well, I hope so. You know, I think he's getting more familiar with how we're trying to play every day. I think his confidence is growing. You know, he made some really nice plays out there today. He de he's defending hard for us. Um, you know, I thought he made a great play on uh, on Rusty's goal, that give and go off the offensive blue line. Uh, you know, just shows you what he's capable of. So we th we think he's getting better with, with every day that he's that he's here with us. He's, he's certainly getting more familiar with how we're trying to play, and hopefully that will help his confidence. Dave Molinari. Uh, thanks for speaking with us, Mike. Without having the benefit of an extensive video review or anything like that, how would you rate this overall performance by your team uh, compared to others this season? Uh, I don't know. I, you know, I, th I thought it was a solid effort. I thought we competed hard. It certainly wasn't perfect by any stretch. You know, I didn't think we were as good in the second period. We, we took a lot of penalties, which I think took our team out of the flow a little bit. Guys that don't kill penalties uh, don't get on the ice as much. And, uh, and so I thought we got some timely saves from Tristan in that second period, uh, which was big for us. But, you know, there was a lot to like to, I, I, you know, I thought we competed hard. We had, uh, we had some, uh, quality chances we were able to finish on. Um, you know, I thought the power play made a big, it took a big step tonight. They were, they were really good. They scored a goal, but, but I think they helped us gain momentum even before that with, with some of the plays they were making. So th there was, I, I think there was a lot to like about the game as well. We'll, we'll watch the film here uh, tonight and see what we can learn from it. And then we'll, uh, then we'll move on. A few more, Josh Haley. Hey, Mike, uh, I thought the game turned halfway through the first period of when Teddy Bluger's line had a really great shift that just pinned Washington in for about a minute. It, it felt like that gave you guys a lot of momentum. Uh, can you just speak of the stability it gives your lineup, knowing what you get in those three guys when they're together? Well, they're they're a really good line. I mean, obviously, we like, we like those three together. We had them together uh, almost the entirety of last season. Um, I think, you know, they, they have some chemistry. They, they're hard to play against. They're conscientious defensively. Uh, they help us gain momentum. And and so they're, they're an important line for us. I thought they had a really strong game tonight. Uh, they got a significant matchup against uh, Backstrom's line a lot of the night. They played against them, and they, they did a real good job against, you know, three real good players for Washington. So, um, you know, that that's the type of line that they can be for us. They get a fair amount of defensive zone starts. And, uh, you know, and, and they defend hard when, they, when they're called upon. So they, I thought they had a strong game tonight. Matt Vensel. Mike, I know going into the year, um, you guys wanted to get the defenseman more involved in the rush and also in the attack in the zone. Just, you know, 14 games in or whatever it is. How do you think that's coming along? Do you think, I know, I know it can be a double-edged sword. Do you think more often than not, that's been making a positive impact so far? Well, I think I think we're looking for opportunities to, you know, to get five man participation on both sides of the puck in all three zones, because that's what we that's what's required in today's game, I think, for teams to be effective and have success. So I, I think we're making progress with some of the concepts that we're that we're uh, implementing with the group, you know, so that we can be predictable for one another. Um, you know, the, the key is, is when we activate our defensemen, we've got to do it responsibly and we've got to do it the right way. And, and we have to have a posture in the event that it, the, the play doesn't work out the right way, that, that we have the ability to recover and defend. And, and so uh, we'll continue to work at those areas, but, but I know the guys are getting more familiar with it. I think we're getting more comfortable with it. We'll keep trying to clarify those concepts uh, through the film and through our practice time. But, uh, but certainly I think we're making progress. Two more, Mike DeFabo. Mike, I'm sure it probably doesn't surprise you when Crosby's line produces, uh, but it seems like the last couple of games, even they've been even better than the goals would even show. Just what have you liked about the way that they've played the last couple of games? Well, I think they've been dominant. You know, I think they've been a threat every time they're on the ice. Uh, they're so hard to play against the way they, they possess the puck uh, in the offensive zone and, 
how stiff they are on the puck. They don't throw pucks away. They force our opponents to have to expend so much energy defending them. Uh, and they're all they're all in such great shape. You know, they're they're so physically fit. They create a lot in, in when they're late in shifts uh, because of how fit they are. So it, I, I just think they've been dominant the last handful of games here. And, uh, they got rewarded tonight, fortunately, uh, for our team and for them. But uh, they've been a real good line for us. Last question, Seth Rohrbaugh. Uh, Mike, Tristan Jari had to make eight saves in the uh, third period, which that's not a huge amount, but it seemed like a lot of them were fairly difficult shots. And I think a lot of times you determine them as uh, timely saves. Just how key was it for you in that third period defending the lead in that circumstance? And just how much a step forward was this game for him overall? I thought he made some good saves for us at key times. And and that's, that's what you need from your goaltender in order to win games and, and have success in this league. And, um, you know, I thought, uh, I thought Tristan took a big step tonight. He, uh, he made some big saves for us. I thought we defended hard in front of him, but, uh, but certainly when we broke down, he was there to make the big stops. I thought his second period in particular, they had some real quality chances and uh, Tristan did a real good job for us in that particular uh, frame of the game. Uh, and then obviously in the third, when we were defending the lead and uh, down the stretch there, he made some big stops as well. So, uh, you know, hopefully Tristan will gain some some confidence off of this. He certainly should. Uh, it was a solid performance by him.